Hi and welcome to section Deeper Architectures. In the last section, we talked about implementation of neural networks in general. In this section, we'll focus on well-known learning techniques. They have achieved significant success in real-world problems, such as speech recognition, natural language processing, image classification, and object recognition. Long-short-term memory units has solved the issue of vanishing gradient problem in RNN and become competitive with traditional methods. Google's speech recognition, which uses stacks of LSTM RNN, has achieved dramatic performance job. On the other hand, convolutional neural networks was also such a breakthrough in computer vision. Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Beidou, and all that big companies has achieved tremendous accuracy in their internal AI systems. GPUs also become very important in achieving these tasks. NVIDIA has invested a lot on developing better GPUs to train deeper models in short period of time. Autoencoders helps data scientists to find good representation of the real data. Extracting the features that once one had to do with handcrafted methodologies. In this section, we are going to cover all. We move on the first video of this section that deals with long short-term memory units. In this video, we are going to take a look at the LSTM model and implementation. Recurrent neural networks takes an input past, new input, produce the prediction and connects to the feature. In the middle of that, there is a simple layer. However, they perform bad in catching relationship in the long sequences, since they forget the past. Moreover, stacking them to build more complex models doesn't work well. In order to overcome this issue, we simply drop it and replace it with LSTM cell. And everything else stays the same, and it performs much better. So how it works? Our goal is to make RNN memorize better. Therefore, LSTM is a memory cell. If you were to model a memory, you would implement features like write, read, and forget. Therefore, in LSTM cell, there are gates that let you decide write or not, read or not, and forget or not. And as you can imagine, these gates are also something that logistic regression can control, since they are differentiable. So that's how it works. These gates keep the memory when it needs and forget it when it should ignore things. So that's it. Gradient vanishing disappear and you can stack layers as much as you want. In Deep Learning 4G, you can implement this behavior with few lines of code. We simply add Graves LSTM layer before RNN output layer. You can try adding as much layer as you want and see the results. In this video, we learned how we can improve recurrent neural networks.